Hello everyone and in this video we will be looking at the solutions of Tamil Nadu state state eligibility test. Now as I told you there are two kinds of examinations for a JRF as well as assistant professorship. One is the net examination which is organized by UGC or you can say UGC net examination and second one is a state eligibility test which is also called as set examination. Now this UGC net examination is a national examination so it is a national or nation wise uh, examination and this set examination is actually state wise so it happens in the different states for example it can be Andhra Pradesh uh, set examination that is AP set it can be Tamil Nadu state set examination which is TN set or it can be Maharashtra state examination so there are so many states in India so every state conducts their own set examination so if you are preparing for UGC net then you are also, can also prepare for the set examinations because uh, the syllabus for UGC net as well as the syllabus for the set examination both are exactly the same. So syllabus is same. Syllabus is same as well as the level of question papers are also same. Now even if just you are just preparing for UGC net then you can take the questions of set examination for practice purposes for practice purposes so that because if you are going to practice these question questions then it will help you in your UGC net examination also as well as it also help you in your PSUs as well or gate examinations so these all examinations are interrelated to each other and they have the similar kind of patterns as well as the level of the questions are also the same now here we'll try to solve the questions of uh, set examination which came uh, this year that is in 2018 and this examination was just finished last Sunday so today is Monday so the yesterday only the examination got finished so I'm trying to solve the entire question paper here with a proper explanation and the first question is saying that relation R be a relation on a set of all integers x comma y which belongs to R if and only if x is equal to y so we have the relation R which is defined something like this x comma y can be there if and only if x is equal to y square for all the elements for all elements which is x comma y belong to a particular set and assuming that set is a okay then we have to tell whether this relation is reflexive whether it is symmetric whether it is anti-symmetric or whether it is transitive i hope that you have already seen my proper explanation video lectures of reflexive symmetric anti-symmetric and transitive because i've already given a proper explanation of all these concepts in my videos if you have not watched that video then just go back to my discrete mathematics videos read the uh, topics of uh, relations after reading the entire topic come back to this video and try to solve the same problem okay now what we are doing is we will take some counter examples to figure out whether it is reflexive or symmetric anti-symmetric or transitive assuming that we have a set a so this is the first example which is having the elements 1 comma 2 comma 3 now in this relation R so what are the elements that can satisfy this condition they are 1 comma 1 because this one is representing X this is representing Y so we can say X is equal to Y square so 1 is equal to 1 square so this is satisfying, satisfying the condition can we have 1 comma 2 obviously no can we have 1 comma 3 obviously no because they are not satisfying the condition can we have 2 comma 2 obviously no because it is not satisfying the condition can we have 3 comma 3 no can we have 2 comma 3 no so the only element that will be there in the relation that will be 1 comma 1 now because there is only 1 comma 1 there is 2 comma 2 is not existing and 3 comma 3 is also not existing that is why we cannot say that we can say that this relation is not reflexive so, so the first option a where uh, they're asking whether it is reflexive or in, uh, or symmetric so the first option is a is wrong because it is not reflexive correct now the second option is symmetric symmetric means that if 2 comma 3 is there then 3 comma 2 should also be there correct but here none of these existed so this is satisfying the condition of set symmetric so from this uh, first example I can say it is reflexive but it is uh, symmetric but I'm not sure okay so we just eliminated the first option correct now let me take uh, more examples here um, the second example is saying that if the relation is a is having the elements 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 now for this definition of relation 1 comma 1 can be there 2 comma 4 can be there 3 comma uh, 9 I think sorry I just have I just made a small mistake let me just rub it up so here 
uh, uh, 9,3 can be there as well as 4 can be comma 2 can be there why because if this is representing x and this is representing the y then we can say x is equal to y square here also if this is representing x this is representing y then we can say x is equal to y square okay so is there any other element here which is satisfying this condition clearly you can say no there is no other element correct now from this relation again you can say this relation is not reflexive right so that is clearly saying because here 2 comma 2 3 comma 3 4 comma 4 these elements are not there right now for this relation to be symmetric if 9 comma 3 is there then 3 comma 9 should also be there right but this is not there in this set that is why we can say this relation is not at all symmetric so it is not reflexive well as, as well as it is not symmetric okay now whether it is anti-symmetric or whether it is transitive so right now it is following the condition but i have to take more example to clear clarify whether it is anti-symmetric or transitive or not okay so let me take more examples so let us say that uh, if the set a is having the elements uh, 1 2 4 6 8 9 10 12 14 and 16 so these are the el elements now in this relation we can have 1 comma 1 because it is x and it is y so x is equal to y square that is satisfying the condition now we can have 4 comma 2 correct because it is satisfying the condition right so i hope because this is x and this is y so it is x is equal to y square now we can have uh, 3 9 comma 3 9 comma 3 is there correct and we can have 4 comma 16 is there so 4 comma 16 is there so 4 comma 2 is sorry so it should be uh, 16 comma 4 is there so 16 is there as well as 4 is there because if this is x and this is y so this can be say that uh, this can be uh, satisfying that x is equal to y square right so uh, apart apart of this is there any other element that can be there in this, in this relation so i don't think so there's no other element here so but what you can notice here that here 16 comma 4 is there as well as 4 comma 2 is there so it means that if this is representing x uh, let me change the color again if this is representing x this is representing y this is representing y and this is representing z therefore uh, x comma z, z should also be there so 16 comma 2 should also be there for this relation to be transitive but this element is not in, in this relation so hence we can say this relation is not at all transitive so the correct answer to this question is option number c that is this relation is anti-symmetric and uh, this relation is not transitive this relation is not symmetric as well as this relation is not reflexive i hope that you understood this entire question for complete details but for you uh, i've taken a small example of um, all this uh, kind of relation just a small definition so i'm just flashing these definitions here i'm not explaining them because i've already created a video to explain these uh, kinds of relation you can pause the videos and you can uh, read out the definitions of all these types so reflexive irreflexive uh, it reflects I've given some examples we have symmetric uh, we have anti-symmetric and we have uh, transitive so I've taken examples of every one of them I hope that you understood this question and uh, now move on to the question number two here so question number one is very easy uh, the basic idea is that you should know what is the definition of reflexive symmetric transitive and anti-symmetric and secondly you should be able to take proper examples to create a dif difference between all these four so it is more like eliminate the three options then the last option that you will get will be the correct answer okay now uh, let us look at the next question to solve uh, for this question paper i hope that you enjoyed